everybody, I'm Paul Bryan. Welcome to another episode of His Turn, Her Turn. I am Paul Bryan from WLS Radio in Chicago. This is Lauren Fix, the I, car coach. I'm the car coach, yeah. She is the car coach. We, uh, we have the, the, the great joy of uh, seeing the new 2016 Honda Civic this time, and we're drawing a crowd, which I think is pretty interesting. Yeah, well, th this car should draw a crowd, and I love the new red color. This is the Touring Edition. This Touring Edition that we've got here is in the $26,000 range. Uh, you can buy this car starting out at about eighteen six plus destination of 800 and change. Right, somewhere that would in be there. the base model, but you're sure. getting a lot for your money, and besides, the vehicle is so new, both upside down, inside out, every single aspect of this is new. Yeah, when when a lot of manufacturers say it's the all new whatever it might be, yeah, they, they say, always. okay, we, we kind of redesigned this and that. This car started as a clean sheet of paper for the 10th generation of the Honda Civic. Who would have ever guessed that we'd wind up here at, at 10 generations? I remember those little cars when they came into this country. They were so I, little, I owned you? one. I owned Did one. Did you really? Yeah, I oh had one for goodness. about a year or so when I got back from the Army. I bought it. And uh, it was something because I was in mourning because I had to leave my other car. But never mind. <laughs> Long uh, story. Yeah. <laughs> but, but nevertheless, this is a ground up, fresh design. They've made the car longer, they've made it wider, they've made it squattier. Yeah. It looks, it doesn't look cool. Yeah. They, they even referenced, I was surprised to hear them reference, the Audi TT. Yeah, they did. Which I thought was an unusual reference when you're looking at Civic and TT are totally different categories. They're not even competitors. But, but, but in their competitive set, they didn't include the TT, but they did include the Audi A3. Right. And you know what? I'm glad they did, and if that's what they benchmarked, they did right fine in that. One of the big things they picked up from the Germans, which I was surprised, typically when you drive a Japanese car, pick a brand, they kind of sloppy in their steering, they're not very specific. When you drive a German car, it, they is, feel light. it is just like the Germans. It is, you point it, it goes, it's very, very specific. And this car has done that, yeah. and you typically don't see that, so I give them major credit for putting together a great suspension system, great redesign. Yeah, and, and we've even commented when we were driving the car, we said this car feels more German than Japanese. Absolutely, and if you, if you prefer that type of handling, this is definitely the way to go. Yeah. And you're getting a lot of car for the money. Well, uh, the only way that we can tell here is to get a few more miles All between right. us, so we'll do that and roll some tape while we're doing that, and we'll be back to you in a little bit. All right. So it's my turn to drive the 2016 Honda Civic. Uh, this is the touring edition. This is the nicest version. It's got heated seats, front and rear. I like the new interior, love the styling, and we were lucky enough to get a rally red one, which I think is a phenomenal color. I was talking to one of the executives and they weren't really even sure about this color, but I think if you buy a car like this in this price range, you're talking the mid 20s, it'd be really nice to have a bright red car and really make a statement. Um, it has an eco mode, which is great for in the city, stop and go traffic. The key things that stick out to me is handling. The tight steering wheel is great. Love the new steering wheel. Visibility is nice, very clean, modern interior. Lots of safety. Uh, typically, I shut off the lane departure warning system because it drives me nuts. Uh, but this one's actually nice. It's not in your face. It kind of gives you a nice visual warning, a little vibration in the wheel to hey, pay attention to the road. Visibility is great. Seating comfort is where I have an issue, there's no lumbar. And I know Paul's gonna really beat me up on that because when you're buying a car in this price range, at least lumbar on the driver's seat, that's from my perspective. Um, I like the new the new interface for the screen. It's a seven inch screen. I We found it difficult with the sound system. Maybe it's because we don't have the Apple CarPlay hooked up, but I'm very excited that there's Apple and Android CarPlay, which I think is really important to the Gen Y driver because they want design, they want fuel efficiency, they want style. They want a safe car, of course, uh, but I think it, it definitely checks off all the boxes when you're looking at the competition. There's quite a bit of competition in this marketplace. Um, this is part of the short list for the North American Car Truck of the Year on the car side. I think it definitely deserves that. Will it be the winner? Well, it's up to 57 jurors to make a decision. Um, I think you're getting a lot of car for your money. I, I'm really uh, actually pleased with the CVT transmission, a very smooth driving car. Uh, handling wise it's really nice great information colors are nice I think they did a really nice job it's a complete redesign by the way top to bottom inside out upside down and all those other directions 
Um, let's see what Paul thinks, but I, I think they did a really nice job. Just wish there was lumbar. Warren gave you her take on the uh, on the new Honda Civic that we're test driving today in, in Michigan. This, the only thing they didn't change on this car was that it has four tires and a steering wheel. Beyond that, this was a clean sheet of paper. The 10th generation Civic has been a ground up redesign for Honda. Uh, they started out by lowering the seating position by about an inch and a half, almost inch and three quarters. And you might say, well, you know, what does that do? Well, before, when you used to sit up, it used to, you used to have a, a pretty upright seating position. Now, you're really able to kind of hunker down into the car. It's got a very, it's got a better feel to it uh, from a performance standpoint. You're looking at a car that's longer. You're looking at a car that's wider. Uh, it is squattier as well. Uh, the, the engine, and I've only been driving this 1.5 liter turbo now for, I don't know, 10, 20 miles that I've had it so far. I like this engine a lot. I'm going to be curious, to tell you the truth, once we drive the 2 liter to see the difference in it. The 2 liter is actually not as much power as this one has. Uh, is this going to rip out stumps? No. Is it adequate for 99% of the driving that you're going to do? Absolutely. And the mileage on it is really phenomenal from a tactile standpoint inside the car. All of the gauges are lined up very nicely. I, I had some trouble at first with trying to figure out how the hell to run the radio in here. It, it got really confusing to me, and that's just not gray-haired guy stuff going. I mean, you know, we both look at this. It isn't. No, it mm -hmm. isn't. You know, it was beyond that. But, but then when you get a look at the steering wheel and the controls on the steering wheel, uh, it, it takes on a little bit different feel to it and you're able to say okay I get that and the difference is is that unfortunately when we do a test on a car like this we drive it for a day clearly when you buy a car when when you look at what we say and you say well that's at least worth going to test drive which we hope you will do uh, you test drive it if you own the car some of the things that automotive journalists whine about are astounding because they go oh well it didn't you know i wasn't able to do this immediately well shut up will you because you know if, if you own the car you're going to know where those things are intuitively you're going to be able to reach for them so just as a, a generic caution when you watch people's advice on things remember that you're going to have the car for a long time and that you're going to know where things are uh, the CVT usually bothers me. This one doesn't bother me. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that overall. The suite of safety features that they've built in, uh, again, are usually pretty annoying, and I usually go, where the switch to shut this off? i got to get rid of this. And here, it's been giving me gentle reminders, but nothing overpowering, and I kind of like that. The one thing that I love, love, love on Hondas is that when you hit the right turn signal on here, you look up on the dashboard and there's a camera over there on the right rear view mirror that activates so you can take a look at the blind spot. It's great. I don't know why other people haven't done it. I can't imagine that, uh, that it's patented by them. From a handling standpoint, I like this car infinitely better than the old car. This car feels much more German than it does Japanese. If you drive it and you'll understand what, I'm, what I mean by that. Uh, this is moving as a unit. Everything is put together very nicely. It's holding together, it feels good. When you set a corner curve, it takes it, sits in there, squats, goes, bang, you're done. I like that a lot. Uh, Beefy steering wheel, it's got a good feel to it. Everything else, yeah, I, I'm pretty darn impressed with this car. Except except for the lumbar. Except for the lumbar, yeah, you got to get a load of her. Uh, the, the, the other thing, too, is that the interior size overall has been increased by about two and a half feet. The trunk room has been increased by another couple of feet as well. So there's more storage space, there's more interior space, and 
the redesign in here is really, really nice. It's a nice car. I like this. Let's recap uh, what's going on here. This is the 10th generation Honda Civic. Uh, the, the interior capacity is bigger than the old car. Yeah. The trunk capacity is bigger than the yeah, old car. In comparison. Uh, we've touched on the, the telematics, the connectivity. The new lighting. Everything else. Down. The lighting looks great it's on really this. Really cool car, actually. The exterior design it's great. You know? that, and they, even this color. I mean, we asked yeah, for this color specifically red. <laughs> because they they offered this color on the the old coupe mm. in uh, the, the Type R, I think it was. Right. And, and they said, let's go ahead and build a rally red sedan. This is going to be very popular. But apparently, talking to the marketing guys, the ladies in the department were demanding this bright red because before they had a darker, like a burgundy, and they really wanted something that stood out. And they did a marketing study, and they brought people in that had other brands and competitive brands. Mm -hmm. And the first thing they said when they saw this car was, wow, this is a Honda Civic? It's, it's the Christian Louboutin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close to those red bottom shoes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so not only do they have this color in here too, but they also have a really, really dark black cherry that if you looked at it on a cloudy like day, a mahogany color, yeah. you, you'd say it was black if it were a cloudy day, kind of like today. Right. But if the sun pops out, wow, it just comes out of a beautiful, Six beautiful black colors. cherry. Pearl, they have a lot of pearl effects. You get the blue and the silver and the white. So if you want something different, especially because this age range, this owner is about 29 years old. Mm -hmm. they're, you know, they're either going for their master's degree or they're, they're working and they want to have something that says a statement about them. It's about style. It's about fuel efficiency. It's about comfort. It's about getting a brand new car. I mean, yeah. it's nice. It's a sign of success. Yeah. It really no, is. And it's, it's a great right. pick. It's a great pick. Right. This segment gets really crowded. It uh, does. It's a huge field. And the, ent the entry level cars. But, but, they've, but they've owned this here, that, that they segment. Have. They were saying they sold, what, 300,000? 300, 362,000. Cars. Yeah. That's a lot. In in just what the last year i think it was yeah. 2014. yeah that's a lot of cars yeah. how many manufacturers can say that about anything maybe f-150 it's about it but this is right up there with this, this is their this is their key player um the other thing that i, I really liked about this car and we may have touched about it during our drive we got a chance to play with the apple carplay and i'm an app junkie i've got the ipad i've got the watch i've got you know if it's apple i have it and i was able to connect up my phone and it was so intuitive yeah it was great. I, I mean, the phone popped up. It said CarPlay, and boom, there it was. And I had no problem using it. It, was, it wasn't like I was like, I don't know how to work this. I don't know how to adjust anything. It was just right there. I think yeah. I love that. That's that's a major plus for them. No, it's good. Uh, they, they've done a lot of nice stuff, and it's such an important piece of business for them, too, mm -hmm. because it's so popular with consumers. This right. is a car you cannot screw up if you're Honda. And, and they didn't screw it up. They really One made One negative. It. They, One negative I keep bringing go. up. Here we go. Here we go. the lumbar. When you're buying a car that's $26,000, at least the driver's side should have lumbar. I mean, they got it right with big, deep center console and great audio. I'm not a big fan of the... I'm not super comfortable with the audio on the center stack, but I do like the, the adjusting audio with your yeah. thumb yeah, was, on the steering wheel. That was well, well done. It was really cool. Lots of room. I mean, the car, I love it. I think, that, I think they have a winner. Just please... Think about adding lumbar for next year. <laughs> and and because I'm from Chicago, I like heated seats, yes. front and rear, right. on, on the Touring Bring Edition. I wish back. there would have been an option for heated steering wheel because yeah, that's that makes just sense too. so civilized. And I live in New York, and it gets cold there, too. So if you live yeah. on the upper half of the country, heated steering wheel would be a nice thing. I, I didn't think about that till just now. I do like the lane watch. It's great. You can have it. You can actually turn it on. We were backing out of a parking spot, and you can press it. and see the lane watch even if you don't have the turn signal on yeah so that's a that oh, that's is a good. major plus so so the honda safety package i think they've done a great job and their crash test ratings they did like a pre pre-test rating this looks like we don't know for sure five star crash test rating for nitsa iihs safety uh, top safety pick plus yep so that they, again another winner in the price point so lots of competition in this this category yeah. that is for sure yeah they've, they've done right fine with it though so the next thing of course because we we deal in what's next yep. is going to be the high performance model. It's going to be it's going to be the R type. So yes, and so we'll probably see that uh, SEMA. SEMA. This yes. will be in showrooms in November. Yeah. So you can get in there and test drive it for and yourself. You should take one if you're looking at a car in this C segment. You should drive it 
just to come, even if you say, I won't own a Honda, I'm nah, not really sure, you gotta drive this car because it'll blow your mind. It is totally different than any previous generation Civic. All I right. was impressed. That's it for uh, for this. I'm Paul Bryan. You can find me on Twitter. I tweet at the Paul Bryan. You can find me on Saturday mornings on WLS Radio in Chicago. Uh, look for me on Facebook. Uh, you, Always posting. I, I, I know, I Always do, posting. I know. You don't want to do, who knows what it's about. And we love when you give us comments yes. on the videos that we do All here. All kinds of comments, but boy, we get the comments. Boy, do we. You can find me at Lauren Fix. She gets Fix. more than I <laughs> You can find me at Lauren Fix on Twitter. You can follow us on Facebook. We have a Facebook His Turn, Her Turn page. Of course, we love that you watch the videos. Watch some of our other ones. They're great. We also Periscope. Um, I'm following everything from Trans Am to what's going on at the auto shows. We love your feedback, and we do appreciate you watching and your comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much.